for this first notebook cover, you're going to be needing some crayons and some paint. Take your crayons and color over the notebook cover very thickly and until you get a kind of glossy finish. Then you want to take a paint of your choosing. I just took this black paint and I painted right over the crayon. With the paint that I was using, it took me around three coats to get the color that I wanted or the finish that I wanted. So use whatever works for you and experiment with different paints. And then you just have to let your paint dry and once it's dry, then you can go on ahead and test it out and see if it works. If your final product did not come out similar to this, then you may have used a dryer paint. For notebook number two, I printed off Sherlock's head in like a silhouette form, then I traced it onto the notebook and I painted it black and then I painted the background minty green. For the Tartar's notebook, just draw out the basic shape or the front and make sure that all of the parts are deeply indented but not so much as to the point where the cover rips. And then just paint your Tartar's in this royal deep blue color. I also tried to paint the part with a small brush where the little coil is. After the blue paint is dried, then you can go with the black paint and then just paint the top part where it says police box. And then you can also take a crayon or a pencil crayon and just color in the white part. I also used a marker to make the line sharp. And I just used a grayish color of paint to paint that little box. That would be the notice part. If you had made your creases very deep, then this part will be very easy for you. Just take a white crayon and you just color all over those window areas. And then the creases that are there, you can just take a blue marker and then just make the indentations bigger. And for the rest of the indentations, I just went over it with some black marker. Mission accomplished. It's all done.